The brand that I'm gonna review today is Drumroll Please. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome welcome! My name is Ray and if you don't know who I am, that's okay because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, dehydrated, and reactive, and depending on season, I can also be a combination skin type as well. The brand that I'm reviewing today is, drum roll please, Purita! I first discovered them back in 2020 when Hiram mentioned the brand's products. I thought their mission was pretty interesting. The name Purito comes from two words, pure, and to. To in Korean means earth or soil. From the beginning, Purito has been committed to sustainable practices, and their brand identity closely follows that green and eco-friendly trend. I don't know if you remember this, but Purito was at the forefront of that big sunscreen scandal in 2020. It kind of sucks that this brand was the poster child for all these sunscreen recalls, and I feel like a lot of people associated Purito with the sunscreen scandal almost synonymously. But truth was, there were also other brands that were exposed around the same time. But unfortunately, because Purito was the first to be called out, Purito caught most of the heat. What I appreciated most about Purito at the time was how quickly they went ahead to make things right. They didn't wait for the noise to die down, they didn't brush anything under the rug, or place the blame on anyone else. They simply apologized, recognized their oversight, and recalled all their sunscreens. I was refunded in full price for the sunscreen that I purchased back in 2020, and I purchased it through, I think, YesStyle. And YesStyle actually gave me the money back, and that was because Purito was like, give your customers the money back, we will literally pay you to pay them back. So I thought that was really awesome about Purito. I remember about a month after the recalls, they asked their followers on social media to take a quick survey. And this survey would eventually lead to the birth of all these amazing sunscreens. And of course, by then they had found a new and more reliable and higher quality manufacturer. They have also since then become the most transparent with their customers, in my opinion at least. If you shop their sunscreen on their official website, you can actually download their SPF and PA lab results for each sunscreen, and I believe that they update it every year. Oh, one last thing. So if you go on their website and you're just looking through the ingredients lists of each product, they'll tell you what each ingredient does for your skin and also what purpose it serves in the overall product. I just wanted to let you know about that because I personally find that very helpful. Full disclosure, Purito sent me all of these products to test, but they did not reach out, I did. I knew that in my career as a skinfluencer, content creator, skincare product reviewer. I wanted to work directly with Purito one day and today's the day. They did not force any products on me. In fact, I emailed them with a list of products that I want to try and I picked these products because I saw them on their Instagram page and I think they're relatively new and because of that I really wanted to try them. Needless to say, everything I say in this video comes from my personal experience. If you have any serious skin concerns, please consult your trusted dermatologist. With that being said, let's get on with this review. I am super excited. Purito. Urikata. The moment I tried Purito's From Green Cleansing Oil, I just knew that I was going to compare this to Beauty of Chozon's Ginseng Cleansing Oil. I really like this packaging with the twistable, is it called twistable? Lockable twist cap? It locks here and it's a pump. Lockable twist pump. That sounds about right. Compared to Beauty of Chozon's Cleansing Oil, which is my favorite cleansing oil at the moment, this one is just a little bit thicker. This contains five natural oils. Olive, sweet almond, grape seed, sunflower seed, and jojoba seed oil. The olive and sweet almond oils help retain moisture in the skin while cleansing, and the grape seed and sunflower seed oils are what breaks down impurities, makeup, and gunk. And lastly, the jojoba seed oil protects our skin barrier. My experience with this cleanser is that it's very effective in removing sunscreen and light makeup. It is recommended that you apply the oil directly on dry skin for maximum benefits, and I 
truly believe so. But I did notice that this cleanser isn't as easy to rinse off as, say, Beauty of Choson's Ginseng Cleansing Oil. Did it make me dislike this product at all? No, I still very much like this cleanser a lot. Another great thing about this cleansing oil is that it leaves your skin feeling very soft and nourished after rinsing. Overall, this is getting an A. It's an awesome cleansing oil. Purito actually sent me the refill set, and what is inside the refill set is this cleanser in this size, this bottle, plus a refill pack. This means that after I finish using this cleansing oil here, I just have to refill it with a refill pack and then just purchase more refill packs in the future and not have to worry about disposing this pump bottle. I think every single company should start doing this. And I know Purito isn't the first, but every single company should start thinking about doing this and implementing it in their programs in their brand identity at this point. Okay, moving on to Purito's Oat in Silky Toner. As you can probably tell, yes, the main ingredient in Purito's Oat in range is oat. Specifically, this toner contains 68% of oat. And oat in skincare is great for soothing sensitized skin while maintaining the moisture level. But if you are someone who is allergic to oats, I would stay away from the oat in range. Another great ingredient in this toner is beta-glucan, which helps protect the skin barrier by making hydration last longer in the skin. In total, there are only 10 ingredients in this toner. And I know some photos out there make this bottle look like it's made of glass, but it's actually plastic. I'm not sure what the pH level of this toner is, but I find it to be very gentle on the skin. In the drier months, I love layering this toner at night for a boost of hydration. I especially recommend doing this for dry and dehydrated skin. This toner seeps into the skin very nicely. The texture is like milk mixed with water. I know milk mixed with water is gross, but I'm not saying that this product is like that. I'm just saying that the texture is like it. There is no fragrance in this product, and I think Purito is starting to steer away from adding fragrance in their products nowadays. Ultimately, this is a very hydrating and gentle toner that I think a lot of people can use. I will rate this an A- minus for now. I think it's a great toner, but I just don't think that it's a product that I must have on my cabinet forever. I'm very excited to talk about this Oat In Intense Cream because it's not what I expected. Maybe it's because a lot of content creators out there have already made this cream appear to have this condensed milk texture in their videos. So I was shocked to find out that this cream is anything but the texture of condensed milk. It's not runny. It's very much like a thick, solid, very viscous, cream. Definitely on the thicker side, it has no gooeyness. There's no stretchiness. Like once you pump it on your skin, it just sits there. Like it doesn't move around. It's just a very solid, simple moisturizer and very thick cream. Honestly, like look, it's nothing like condensed milk. And I don't know how these content creators are able to make a product look like it's condensed milk and all drippy and, and gooey, but it's not like that. It comes in a pump bottle and I think the entire bottle itself, including the pump, the cap, the twist part, and the actual body of the bottle are all made of recycled plastic. The pump is very easy to press and doesn't require a lot of force to get the product out. And because this comes in a pump bottle, I can easily apply it on my face without having to use my palms. This cream contains a total of 15 ingredients with nearly 72% of the products being oat. It also contains oat kernel flour, which delivers skin softening and moisturizing results for a smoother complexion. I would describe this skin softening effect as something similar to when we use products that use rice extract as their main ingredient. It also seals your skin with a very thin film that locks in the moisture very well. For oily skin, a little amount goes a long way because it does give you that dewier finish. I think this cream is actually better for dry skin types. While I do appreciate this moisturizer coming in at 150 milliliters, it just doesn't beat my favorite Purito Unscented Centella Recovery Cream. 
that one is a holy grail. Overall, I am gonna rate this moisturizer an A minus. I think it does what it needs to do, but I just don't see this as a holy grail. Finally, we are gonna take a look at one of Purito's newest sunscreens since the 2020 sunscreen scandal. So far, I've heard mixed reviews from other content creators, so I was even more excited to try this sunscreen for myself. I would say that right off the bat, this is a pretty standard sunscreen with no white cast and good ingredients. It contains five ceramides, Centella asiatica, panthenol, tocopherol, and alpha bisabolol. Bisabolol, bisabolol, if you're a chemist, let me know how to pronounce this. But what really makes the sunscreen shine among the others is how skin-like it feels upon application. I will say that texture-wise, this sunscreen is the closest to Maria May's Sika Soothing Sun Cream. But of course, unlike Maria May's sun cream, this sunscreen has no fragrance. It's also not as thick as Beauty of Chosun's popular rice probiotic sunscreen. Screen. But I actually like this texture a lot more because it's not as thick. Like I said earlier, this sunscreen does not leave any white cast since it does rely on chemical UV filters. It's very easy to blend into the skin and currently this is my go-to sunscreen. The finish isn't quite matte the way that Purito claims it to be. It's more on the dewy side if anything. But I do still think that this sunscreen is more suitable for oily skin since it is super lightweight and airy. As an oily skin I feel like this is moisturizing enough for you to skip your moisturizer in the morning. For dry skin, however, definitely layer a moisturizer before using the sunscreen. Overall, I am very pleased with this sunscreen and I am definitely ordering more in the future. You probably already guessed correctly, yes, I am gonna rate this an A+. I love the velvety and dreamy texture of the sunscreen and I feel like as I get older and my skin starts to be more picky with what products I put on my skin, texture for me, especially for sunscreens, is so important. You guys, I finally got to work directly with Purito, and of course I could not have done this without your support. And thank you Purito for sending me all these products to try. Kamsamida. Sound off in the comments. I want to know if you've ever tried any of these products. And if you have not, let me know which products you want to try. I'll also leave all these products links in the down bar below for you guys to check out as well as any other products I've mentioned in this video. Please help the channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. But until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. That's right, you be gentle with yourself. Annyeong, come back for more. Chuseyo, chuseyo, chuseyo.